I want to win, I try, and if I don't, it's to promote something I believe in very sincerely, and that's what the young people especially uh, are interested in. That's something that Ron Paul wants to promote, ending the war in Afghanistan and staying out of military intervention unless Congress is willing to declare war. The people are sick of these wars. Democrats and Republicans are pro-war. And, and the young people don't like it. They're paying for it. They don't want to fight them. They want our troops to come home. Ron Paul says that message is resonating with young voters. My job is to deliver a message and get people excited and get them involved. And literally thousands are, if not millions, are involved. I mean, we've, uh, the truth is, is we get bigger crowds out than the rest. But it goes unreported. I mean, Paul says the news media isn't accurately reporting his support. At a fundraiser near Union Square, we heard a lot of that. Well, the media isn't treating him as well as they should be. They, they don't ask him enough about policy. I think more people would support him, actually, if the media were honest about what's going on with him and didn't hide his name from polls and just completely eliminate him. Young people um, telling us the media possible. isn't giving Ron Paul his due. But in Wisconsin this week, young voters picked Mitt Romney over Ron Paul. And that same age group, 18 to 29, was just 10 percent of the total Wisconsin turnout. I'll tell you what, they may play a role this time if I'm not the nominee and they're tired of Obama because they've been sort of burned with him uh, because he didn't stop the wars and he still sends the feds over here to crack down on anybody who me uses medical marijuana. They're sick of all that stuff. Paul says young voters may influence this next election by just sitting it out. And for that matter, he may not vote for the Republican nominee. Well, it's, it would be pretty hard to uh, support somebody that I have no agreements on with. Paul says it would be hard, but he also says he hasn't and doesn't have to make that decision just yet. After tonight's speech, he's heading back to his home state of Texas to do some campaigning there. Reporting from Berkeley, Mark Matthews, ABC 7 News. Some uh, strategic staging behind Mark there. All right, Mark, thanks very much. Well,